Hello, I'm Carolyn Clancy, Director of the Agency for Healthcare Research and Quality. It's my pleasure to introduce this brief video on the 2010 ARC Healthcare Innovations Exchange Innovators Event. This event was a first for ARC because it was the first time that contributors to the Innovations Exchange gathered to network and share information and their perspectives on how to improve healthcare quality. This kind of exchange is essential to speed the implementation of better ways to deliver healthcare. The meeting format allowed more flexibility for attendees to connect and provided innovative ways to creatively spread the word about their work, learn from others, and even set the stage for new collaborations. Join us now with guest moderator Chris McCarthy of the Innovation Learning Network and a host of healthcare professionals who contributed to the day's lively and informative exchange. Let's take a look at how the day unfolded. Because you are going to design what today is all about. We're all going to be very, very active in how today unfolds. This only works if you are deeply interested and curious about innovation in healthcare. And you have the passion and energy to solve some of these problems with your peers right here in this room today. And it's really exciting to be here today because the Innovation Conference gives us an opportunity to share information in a very open format. Really gets the creative juices flowing. This approach really allows for a more open dialogue. It's wonderful. It's very interesting to have the exchange of ideas. And I've always loved the idea of the Unconference. So it was really great to see how a group like this would um, take the Unconference, and I think they did great. Hello, I'm Chris McCarthy, director of the Innovation Learning Network. The start of our open space, there's about 30 minutes to an hour of quietness, and then the explosion of chaos, where everybody is proposing new ideas that they want to talk about. They're trying to sign up for the sessions that they're most interested in. They're trying to negotiate who should work with who on different sessions. Of course, then the trick is, when they get to those sessions, can they actually break out of their traditional roles of simply just introducing themselves and being very surfacey about their challenges, but can they get deeper into the content? Can they really think about how they're going to work together? Open space generates many ideas. A really good technique to really get a good sense for what the passion of the crowd is, is a technique that we call 3 by 5 And what's really exciting about the 3 by 5 is that it quickly evaluates ideas and really energizes the room. And these were the concepts that many people in this room evaluated very highly and feel like there could be a lot of passion to push the ideas further and faster. Uh, empowering patients and frontline workers to identify and create organizational change within our health system. Using patients for employee interviews, especially department chairs. There was some uh, discussion about the meaning of health literacy. Using technology such as Skype and Twitter to care for and communicate with patients and each other. Uh, I'm trying to learn how to Twitter, so I almost had my cell phone ready to go, and then I had to write in the, the code there, that funny little code they give you to write those letters, and I couldn't figure out what the code was. It just looked so weird, so I'm still not quite on. Everyone it dreads, I think, well I do, I'll say that. The uh, typed minutes after a meeting um, that take a long time to get through and get the information, but graphical artists, you can take a photograph, you can post it, and um, you can just get a sense of the feel of what the conference is about. I capture the conversation using color and line. I try to synthesize and uh, absorb the ideas that are bouncing around in a conversation and give them a little bit of organization and uh, comprehensive treatment. It's been a very different conference and I think it's had us more uh, thinking on our toes, more in tune with what's going on than if we were just sitting listening to a speaker. I'm going to try to implement this process in some of the things that I do back home. It'll give me a chance to, to, to try this out on some of our folks and, 
see how they like this process and maybe we'll get better input from, from each and every one of them. And I felt that this innovations workshop was so useful to me in terms of learning what other people are doing throughout the country. They're tackling challenges in new ways. They're connecting into resources that they never even thought of because they never had the opportunity to be with these people at this time in this space. We hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Mary Nick. And I'm Judy Consalvo. We work together at ARC on the Healthcare Innovations Exchange. The 2010 Innovators event captured the importance of exchange, which is an essential part of this ARC program. It was a day filled with sharing and dialogue. Innovators exchanged ideas on improving healthcare delivery. They traded stories and insights on innovating. They networked with new colleagues. They even exchanged tweets. We at ARC will continue to develop new ways to support healthcare innovators and the vital process of exchange. And whether you're a healthcare provider, researcher, or a patient, we encourage you to become part of this innovation process yourself. Please visit our website at www.innovations.arc.gov for ways that you can contribute to the Innovations Exchange or to improving healthcare in your community. Thank you.